What is going on guys? We have a pretty cool video today. So we have some new parts for the GT500. We have some strange adjustable front struts to install in the car and we have some big boy 29 and a half inch tall tires for uh, the GT500. So we are going to try those out on it and uh, see what happens. Uh, these are Mickey Thompson stiff wall 15 inch tires and then we also have strange adjustable struts. We'll get into that in a little bit but I want to give you guys just some info. Uh, the Whipple S550 the giveaway is quickly approaching the end date. We are sh shipping stuff out from our house so everything I believe is in stock uh, right now besides 3XL hoodies. So we are shipping stuff right on out. Go down in the description, mustanglifestyle.net, get entered to win the Whipple S550. We're gonna be giving this away to a subscriber and uh, I am very excited about it. We also picked up a car over there. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. That is a Terminator. So uh, let's go and take a look at these tires. And yeah, so we have some 29 and a half inch tall tires by 10 and a half by 15 Mickey Thompson stiff wall slicks. This is what was highly recommended by uh, Kelly Aiken at uh, Keltrack. He said, you need these stiff walls, tallest tire we can fit in the back. Hopefully it fits. So that is the, the plan at least. So I'm going to go ahead here and pop off the welds and go ahead and get those out of here. I also got some new wide bands. We were having some weird issues where they were going out on the top end of a pole. I don't know if it was really affecting anything, but figured uh, throwing in a fresh set of O2 sensor wide bands uh, would help the car for sure. Hopefully we can keep a belt on the car. Um, I was planning on going to the track today, but it looks like it's going to rain. So it's really not worth rushing myself to get this car ready. Um, especially if it's, you know, not very nice out. So I dropped the wheels and tires off at the tire shop to hopefully get those mounted up soon. Again, the plan was for the track, but it looks like it's going to be a pretty gross and wet day. So we'll just go ahead and plan on getting the car ready um, and not rushing uh, to get it ready. We have the NTK uh, wideband O2 sensors. I'm going to throw those in. Hopefully those fix that issue. Like I said, the widebands have been working fine. It's just on the end of a fourth gear pull, uh, they do start to cut out. They say like 0.00. So our next order of business is to get the strange adjustable struts in this car. So I actually picked these up from Outlaw Race Engines. They gave me a great deal on them and we're going to go throw them in the car. I've been talking with Justin on Facebook. He recently started working there and I wanted to just give them a quick shout out. Uh, they actually have a CNC. They do uh, sleeving on Coyote engine blocks. They sell a lot of parts. They're starting up their online website. Uh, so I just wanted to give them a quick shout out if you guys want to support them or give them a shot. They're actually out in Arizona and if you guys want to go check them out, I'll have a link down in the description. Yeah, definitely give them a shot see if they can help you out with uh, some parts that you need for your car they definitely helped me out getting these uh, strange adjustable struts right here uh, for the GT500 and like I said they also do a lot of other crazy stuff uh, sleeving for example on coyote engines which definitely takes a lot of good skill and some very expensive CNC machines which they do in fact have all right so I did actually go ahead and get the car jacked up on four jack stands uh, we do have the jack still there but don't worry the car is supported by four jack stands front and rear Obviously the rear wheels are at the tire shop and then we just took the fronts off. Now looking at these rotors, these rotors look, 
a little hot. I would like to go to some drag brakes, but also uh, we don't have a parachute on the car at the moment, and these brakes do stop the car fairly well um, from a high speed, uh, whether that be on the track or street. Uh, so streetable, uh, these six piston Brembos do work. As for weight and drag racing, they are extremely heavy. Um, but today we're gonna be removing the stock Bilstein struts. Uh, we have been running these for a while on here, and uh, I think it is about time we change them out. I had plans for some Viking coilovers, but they are currently out of stock. We are gonna go ahead and get these strange adjustable struts pulled out of here and we'll get them in the car. All right, so we just got done ripping the uh, coyote swap. And uh, what's going on, Andrew? Um, I'm a little close here. Yeah, why are you so... So the tire shop was closing and I had to get the welds for the GT500 and this may or may not be like the sketchiest thing I think you've ever done. I'm watching my tire and wheel to make sure it doesn't fall and, uh, off the back. Just show you what he's talking about. Let me just show you. Yeah. That. Uh-huh. Let me show you from the mirror. That's what we're looking at right now. It's being held on like the edge of the convertible top part. So hopefully it stays on is all I'm saying. Hopefully we make like it. Like this video. <laughs> We're idiots. Who's we? This was your idea. This was your idea. It's not like we have a truck or anything. Oh, wait. A big truck. Look at this. Loki, one of the sketchiest things I've done. Yeah. I think this may be the sketchiest. Dude, the guy's laughing at you. <laughs> can, can you grab one of the wheels real quick? Please? How fast are we going? Like, you're going 30, bro? Yeah, I mean, we're not, we're not doing anything necessarily really dangerous. I haven't seen the tire. Like, I'm keeping an eye on it. It hasn't moved. So I think we are good, but it is definitely still sketch. I think you'd win that one. I love it. <laughs> Love your big tires. Thanks. Where are they going on? Uh, my GT500. Yeah. I have, I have my truck at home, but the tire shop was closing. So I had to get them in this. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> cool. Gotta be a car guy to love that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that? No. Oh. It wouldn't turn on fast enough. Totally skidded away from the line. That was hilarious. Recover pickup truck edition. Well, it's a good thing it's not a manual because we wouldn't be getting the clutch right now. Automatic perks. All the tires still on. That's a plus. Only a little bit further. And then we're free. Well. We did it. So I'm gonna show you guys what we just rode around in. Okay. And um, yeah, so yeah. This is how we rode the entire way. No, oh, it was actually pretty. I put it that's actually like pretty stable. right around here so it had somewhere to hook. But yeah, that is pretty crazy. All right, so we have the 29 and a half inch tall tires. They look absolutely huge. Let's go ahead and get them on the GT500. Whoo! That's a big tire. That is a really big tire. That is a big tire. That's a big tire, dude. Holy shit. Oh, Andrew. That's a big freaking unit. That's a big tire. Very big. I hope it clears. I don't know. Rear end's obviously supported on jack stands right now, so that's why it's, uh, you know, compressed. But All right, so on the GT500, I'm going to go ahead and get the wide bands uh, swapped out. 
hopefully that fixes our issue with the uh, Lambda reading zero or just AFR reading zero. So I'm gonna slide under the car um, and hopefully get those swapped easily. I don't have a 7 8 wrench, but I do have an adjustable, so hopefully that does the job. So we got just uh, this wide bit right here. Of course, let's go this way. Tighten. Okay, cool. They're not that bad. So there's some zip ties we have to cut there, but let's go ahead and put the new one in and then we'll cut the zip ties, put new zip ties on. That should be, hopefully, the right plug, which I think it is. I got that unplugger there. And, yep, that's the right plug. Oh, that was kind of silly to plug in. Okay, and then we'll tighten them up a little bit, but not a lot. That should be good. Now I'm just gonna repeat the process on the other side. All right, let's see if they work. They should. That's all we had to check. Make sure wide bands work on both banks. And that part is done. This car continues to annoy me, but I believe the strut is ready to come off. Nope. Get that off. It's not, oh, there it is. Now it's ready to come off. These are off. One more. There goes my caliper. <laughs> oh, that was almost on the paint. How does this unplug? Are those aftermarket struts? No, a factory. We had a Magna ride kind of thing. Nice. In these. Now that we have scratched up our uh, six piston Brembo's to hell, the strut is finally out. Yeah, thank you. Don't do as I do. That's it. That's all. No big explosion. 
So these are the new ones. What, yes, are, they, what are they, Andrew? These are strange single adjustable front struts, non coilover. And uh, pretty much just put them right back on. Kick my lug nut again, see what happens. So, same way this was just together, I believe. Yeah, but doesn't that go to torque to spec or something? No, it gets torqued to uh, these a, nuts. A few uggadugas. Perfect. It's right there. Oh, that's uh, definitely the wrong way. And one nut. They're tight. Ready to go back in. And that is what she said. And then there's our adjustment knob right there. Okay. Kelly told me to go two clicks to start her off. Let's do it. Alright, so... Got it. Yep. That's it. Uh, push in... Yeah, there we go. All right, so we did get the GT500 all back together and the new strange struts on there. Uh, looks like we need to align the steering wheel. It's pretty far off, but we got the 29 half inch tall tires too. We got the new wide bands on there. These tires look big. I might need to go to Stock Springs. I just uh, drove it around. Just trying to see if it, uh, it rubbed. So I really don't want to damage the paint on this thing. It's, there's just barely any clearance here. So I'm gonna have to see uh, what we can do to make sure that these fit. But overall, I mean, the car looks awesome on a 29 and a half inch tall tire, but it's a big tire. So same thing over here, there's room right here. It's extremely tight right back here. So overall, Car is getting closer to being able to make that eight second pass or even a low nine pass that uh, that we wanna see from it. Uh, so make sure you slap the like button down below. Leave a comment, let us know what you think and uh, we'll be back with more. Make sure you enter the Whipple S550 giveaway and we'll see you guys in the next one.